Sponsored by Salud Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salud Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We promote North Carolina craft beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to a brewery you might not know about, or a brewer, or a place in the state to uh, pick up a great beer. And today, we're going to introduce you to a brand new beer that's on the market, and it's a little bit different. So here oh, we go. It's an understatement. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> today, we're drinking the Scorpion. A Scorpion, a Scorpion in Fuego beer, a 10.1% ABV Mexican lager, Imperial lager, from the Unknown Brewing Company in Charlotte. Of course, at the Unknown Brewing Company, they obviously are more than just a name. As they say, a name does not mean you make good beer, and good beer does not mean you have to have a name. Our job is to stand out. We are the open road with no destination. We are your first kiss or your last time jumping out of an airplane, or whatever your wildest adventure might be. We are the unknown. So if you need us to have a name, make one up. If you make one up, or you, we prefer you call us something with adventure or America, or dragons, or something epic. Uh, that would be awesome. All we know is that we are good people whose mission is to make really great beer and have fun doing it. So our call to you is step into the unknown. So if I give them a name like Brewificationalismists, <laughs> yeah. we could use that one. That's right. <laughs> so they talk about stepping into the unknown and they've really done that today with this beer. So this brew the brewery calls this beer, now catch this, La Giordana del Escorpion en Fuego hacia la Casa del Tupac Cabra Muerto. You sound like a seventh grader. <laughs> yeah, I felt like one too. <laughs> uh, and this roughly translates to the path of the fiery scorpion through the house of the dead Chupacabra. And that don't tell you much more than the first one did, except yeah. it's in English, maybe. So the Escorpion en Fuego for short, and that's what we're calling it, or everybody calls it a scorpion beer out of unknown. Is a 10.1% ABV Mexican Imperial Lager brewed with agave nectar, serrano peppers, and aged on tequila oak staves. Oh my god. This in itself makes for an interesting beer, they say, but the brewer decided obviously that was not enough. We have to go over the top. <laughs> Unknown also brews this beer with 99 real scorpions. They parenthesize that, they say, don't worry, they're food grade quality. And when asked if these scorpions would affect the flavor, head brewer and owner Brad Shell responded, quote, I'm not sure. That's not the point. <laughs> the point of this beer. Whatever. The point is this beer needs scorpions. Some things just have to happen. Okay. So we don't really know what we're drinking. We've not had it before. They were kind enough to share a bottle with us, and we're going to drink it and tell you what we think. And frankly, I don't know that I've ever had a Mexican lager, especially from the brewery I now call Brewificationalismists. <laughs> Yeah, we'll let you that's, speak. To, that's we'll my, you that's speak my name for them. So, it's uh, like it could be anything. Your five bombers of the Scorpion beer from Unknown, is what I'm going to call it, <laughs> are around at your favorite bottle shop, and Unknown is fairly widely distributed and do a great job with some of their other products. So, we're kind of excited to try this, and we trust we're not going to taste scorpions. And if we did, uh, we wouldn't know what the hell a scorpion tastes like. Look at that awesome. The, it's beautiful beer and a beautiful pour, and it's in a great bottle. Mm. And you know, drinking beer is half of the uh, aesthetic experience. So yep. it, it just so effervescent on the glass. <sighs> a great head that's holding up nice. Oh yeah, it's got it's, a thick, rich head, a little yellowish in color, and a great pour. slightly darker yellow, more than straw body. Right. And there's not an unusual kind of aroma coming from or anything. No. Not even you don't get the hotness from the serranos or. Uh, no. Do you get a little take, pick? Take a little. Take a little. Take a. Uh, well, yeah, you, 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 get a, you, get yeah. a little, you get a pepper aroma. You are getting a little, I'm getting a pepper aroma out of that. Yeah, there's a little... Don't little, ask me to identify that it's a Serrano. I wouldn't well, know. Right. But it's, it's got that heat aroma. So let's see what the uh, unknown scorpions taste I, like. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> yeah, scorpions. <laughs> well, it's different. It's got a pepper taste. And a sweetness. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sweetness. It, it's uh, tequila oak stays. Now the oak comes through for sure, I think. Wow. 
I mean, this is. <laughs> oh, it's, I guess the sweetness comes from the agave nectar. Oh, okay. So yeah. that makes sense. You have to put a buttload of that in there. To make, to make it, it sweet. this sweet, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. I don't know how. If it's, I, it's well, I mean, it, it, it's not okay. So it's not a standard lager. So if you just take a lager, just plain mm -hmm. lager. Now you you think about the separation now between what you're getting in this. I'm getting a little bit more extra sweetness to it. I'm still getting a little pepper t flavor to it. Not a lot. No, no, it's right. Not, it's, it's not, not a pepper it's, beer in any yeah, way. It's not pepper beer. There is a pepper beer behind mm. me in those hot pistol bottles. Mm. <laughs> but it too is a different presentation of a pepper beer. Yes. It's not an in your face hotness. It's a more yeah. we won't talk we're no, not, here, not to, we're one. not here to talk about hot pistol. We're just showing that it's back there. But um if I was handed this beer and didn't know what it was, I'm not sure I would know what I'm drinking. It seems I across would, styles. Well, no. I mean, well, oh, in terms of you wouldn't know it's a lager? No, in terms of I wouldn't know what beyond a lager that it is. Well, I'm getting heat from it. So, I mean, I'm, you know, you get, you get the pepper flavor and a slight, slight ting in the back. Slight. But I think it's the sweetness that throws me off. I, really, I find it really appealing, I should different. say this. Yeah. I, I like I mean, it. No, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's, it is really good. It's unique it's and good. Just, and I guess that's what they were going for. It's mm -hmm. so it's something that you won't. I don't think you'll sell in as a session beer. Of course, at ten percent, you don't need to be a session in beer with no. this. Uh, but actually, if I went there and I had no concept, and you read about it, except for if you're a connoisseur of scorpions, and you went, you know, I'm kind of deprived because I'm not really tasting that scorpion flavor. <laughs> you know, then you'd be kind of disappointed. If but you what food grade scorpions taste that, like. That's right. Yeah. But beyond that, I think it's unique enough. I mean, I think it's it, it's something you really want to try. Oh, I think just so to get too. the experience because it's just. And it's, beyond it's, that, it's it's good enough to oh, yeah. that you will probably want a second or third bottle. I mean, it's very something that's you've got the story behind it. Mm -hmm. The. Uh, the appeal of sharing it with friends who may not have had it or heard of it. Mm -hmm. And then it's not just a gimmick. It's a good beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like I like that pepper up front. It's different, for a, like body, different, just, different for a lager. I just like the body on this beer. It just sits with you so well. Yeah. And you're, I think the mouth feel is great. Mm -hmm. So something unique, something memorable, which is what we always look for in a brewery. And you know, the other thing that we, we don't say a lot lately, but we used to say more of is we really appreciate when a beer lives up to its reputation and its advertising and its credibility. This is unique enough that as it was portrayed. Except for the scorpions, Brad. <laughs> Who knows what the hell a scorpion tastes like. <laughs> so I think uh, Anonis has done another great job on a beer yeah. that is so unique and it kind of yes. goes along with the whole concept of unknown. You yes, don't know for sure what you're going to get. Yep. It's going to be great, but it's going to be a different palate experience. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Brad and the whole unknown crowd, and I'm not sure I even said this, they're out of Charlotte on Mint Street, a couple blocks from the stadium. Yep. Uh, and Walking they're, distance. They're widely distributed, and of course, they've got all kinds of accounts around in Charlotte. Yep. So uh, if you can't get the Scorpion beer, grab one of the other unknown brewers' beers, and uh, you won't be disappointed at all. Nope. Oh. But try to find the scorpion. Yeah. Or the, um, I'm not going to do this. The path of the fiery scorpion through the house of the dead, Cupacabra. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Okay. Sure. 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 Get the scorpion beer. That's right. Till next time, this is Glenn and Dave NC Beer Guys. I'm reminding you to drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.